<laughs> You're a bitch! You're a little bitch! <laughs> and we're back. Yeah, sorry, continue. What I was gonna say is, um, my like, my like perception or like my view upon the world or like if that's happening or what I'm seeing or what I've experienced in the past would change almost weekly. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, pe yeah. People, like, even friends Reality still... Reality becomes slippery. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why you need to be grounded in, in terms of, like, who you are and look at certain core principles yeah, and, yeah. and laws because laws are always true. Definitely. 100% of the time, no matter what perspective or which way you look at it, and that's what grounds you into reality. And yeah. There are laws. Yeah. Because some people don't believe in that. It's like, no, your perception creates reality. It's like, no, 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 that's not there necessarily are, like, you true. You can't jump you up can... here and fly away. Perception does not create reality, but you can look at reality through different perspectives, but they're yeah. always like a common sort of theme. Like this is like baseline matrix reality. Yeah, it's like a game has rules, like in yeah, Red Dead Redemption exactly. you can't escape the map, even you though I've tried yeah. to fucking, <laughs> so, I've tried <laughs> so many times to get out the map. Spider-Man, I put Spider-Man. Oh wow. man, I, play, I was walking around Thomas Melbourne 100. today, like going, oh, fuck if I had Spider-Man's web shooters, I'd be fucking all over yeah, this shit. Yeah, yeah. That, that's actually, yeah, after that experience I was like, went more into like, um, because like I said, I didn't, I didn't want to cling on to the experience itself, which I've had a, I've done a mistake of doing in the past, but Me more too. looking at the symbology and the lessons behind it. Yeah, and yeah. So even with movies and Spider-Man, like I'm looking at Spider-Man and like, fuck. Because like, you look, I know this is a different topic, but who gives a fuck? You in a different video. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just talk about Spider-Man. Fuck yeah, why because like who you looked up to as a kid actually reflects both your shadow and light aspects of your personality. Yeah, and like yeah. looking at Spider Man was always my favorite superhero growing same up. Same man, right? It still is. Maybe, one. Yeah, yeah, same. And that's because I think he's like the most human. Yeah. Uh, superhero. Like he's someone that everyone everyone could be Spider Man. Yeah. Right? And even like growing up, it's like you look at the positive aspects of Spider Man. Like he wants to do good and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. He has a good heart. You know, he's creative. You know, so he's a photographer and all this kind of stuff. But his shadow aspect is that he's unorganized, he's always late, he's uh, that he focuses too much on the Spider-Man, the big yeah. picture, and forgets about the little things. So, so relationship. Yeah. Because Peter Parker's shit. life isn't exactly uh, glamorous. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's got a pretty. I don't want to say shitty life because I'll be projecting my own thing onto it, but difficult. Let's say. Yeah, difficult. Right? Yeah, 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 his yeah. relationships fall apart, and everything kind of goes wrong. He struggles with money, and that's the thing it's that just, I. Uh, struggled with growing up. As yeah, well. definitely. Yeah, yeah, same man. Yeah. And he had a problem with Mary Jane. Yeah. And I always had a weed addiction. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you look at it, it's like, oh, okay, you now you're just uh, connecting dots together. It's like, no, that that's the thing. It's all metaphorical. He's literal. It's all connected. Yeah. You know I mean? Fuck yeah. Um, I don't even know where we're going with this, but just, just, just the way. Um, but like, certain laws. Yeah, yeah. Right. Looking at the symbology and yeah, the meaning symbology. behind things, and that's yeah. So after that experience, I went like more deep into that. Yeah. But even just everyday shit. Like I wasn't like all obsessing with UFOs, but just watching superhero movies, for example. I got obsessed mm. with like the mythology of like, especially the Marvel universe. I oh, love man. that shit, man. Oh, you know what man, I, mean? I love yeah. Marvel, so I'm such a fucking Marvel fan. Nice. And every time I make the show, I've got fucking Marvel movies. Just right, start from Iron Man one and just fucking <laughs> play itself while I do this. And I look over it. Oh fuck yeah, Iron Man two's on. This is nice. a sick scene, and I'll turn around, do I look around like, mm, <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> fuck Avengers one, fucking hot pause. Let's fucking watch this. Scene. Just right, end man. the trailer of F for Endgame. Yeah, oi. That's gotta be interesting, eh? How, how is it? I released my trailer for Trimmer on 3, and then Endgame's trailer come out, I was just like, oh, nice. sick! Because, like, to me, Trimmer on 3 is like my Infinity War. Nice. Like, even though it's not a war or anything like that, but like. But certain parallels, would you say? Like, it's certain themes? Just, just like or? how. how Because um, I started working on Big Les, like, through comics and shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, while the first Iron Man come out and I was always watching Iron Man while oh, I was like drawing and, and getting inspiration from Marvel and their new way of shit and then now it's up to the point where Marvel's now doing their fucking Infinity War they're up to their Infinity yeah, where like Endgame yeah, yeah. Like, that's the last one right? yeah they've been building up to like the revealing of Thanos and all that sort of yeah. stuff and, and I've been on the same journey with revealing Les's dad and the fight scene like Les was always destined to face the father of Kingdom Come. Right. Yeah, because that's in, in Avengers as well. They they had the end in mind. Yeah. And then they reverse engineered. That's and then that's 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 oh crazy, fuck man, huh? that's the best way to I'm, I'm always so lost for words 
of ex and I can just explain it so well. That's how I did the show storyline. I reverse engineered yeah, it. I always right. knew how it was gonna end. That's so cool. And I started from the start, and it's taken me six years. Yes, yeah, six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't. And I was like, and yeah, can't. One yeah. episode for you. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, if this comes out before Big Les comes out, it's on the twenty seventh. 27th of January. January. I'll release this before then. Chuck that in. Oh, build, yeah. some, build some hype. Cool bananas. Behind it. Um, I'm so fucking excited. I'm happy, man. That you're yeah. full circle. So what's after the big live well, show? Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what, but like. I don't have to tell the details, but you. There will be something. Yeah. There will be something. Like it's the end. Another phenomenon. Yeah, it's the end of the big live show as we know it. If that makes sense. And we all know when things end things begin there's always a beginning exactly. after an ending yeah when a door closes a window opens yeah. <laughs> i can go on and on and on and on <laughs> but like <laughs> just the, the fact of the matter is is i'm not done with telling stories like nice. if anything it's i've been very like making big les's storyline and um having to go all the way to like this episode idea, which was an idea like years ago that I've been climbing to mm -hmm. for ages, it's almost like I put myself in a container. Like I can't leave, I can't leave this story until it's done. I can't do all these other ideas yeah, I have yeah. until this is done. That's so the same I kind of like you got to sing your song, get it. Yeah, out yeah. I gotta, I gotta fucking finish. And it's awesome. This. Yeah, it's like um, oh, that's right. Because uh, just to go back to that, yeah. that UFO experience. Yeah. And again, it wasn't even the UFO phenomenon itself it was just whatever happened the revelations that I went through yeah and then I went full circle with that you saw that that video I made like um the you are not god right yeah, that yeah, took yeah. me a year to like even formulate and understand yeah. and it just made me like oh it's so cool to like have that grounding because when yeah. you don't have principles reality can get slippery and you're like what's real you know what I mean definitely and uh fuck yeah Tomo you got some Hans Hans Hans, Hans. Oh, my. fucking love me Hans mate Fucking oh, cheers, cheers, bro. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 cheers, boy. Hey, fuck dude, nice. Fucking cheers, Tom. Fuck yeah. Mm. Congrats to Big Les. That's um King. I oh, better Mar step in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is um this is okay. my oh, fucking go. dear yeah. friend and fucking oh. brother from another mother. mother. Tomo. Tomo. This hey, is boys. Tomo hey, Graham. Graham. He's, I get him to do the voice for King Larinox and Kizza, the Sasquatch, the New Zealander Sasquatch. <laughs> This is him. Can you do this? The, is, can you do the Yeah, boys. Hey, girls. Uh, which one? What is King, King. Like, like, you're a bitch. You're a little bitch. <laughs> you're a bitch. You're a little bitch. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> mate, you gotta, um, gotta give him a few quotes from Les, mate. Oh, fuck. Uh, thanks for having us, Tommy, by the way. Oh, yeah. the, the your hotel room, so thank you. Oh, no, no. no <laughs> thanks for coming. We're totally in Jazz's jazz domain, so. Nah, it's yeah, a playground, so. I'm just putting it lighter because now, you know, Melbourne. Freaking Melbourne, man. It keeps going lighter than fuck. There we go. Melbskin. Yeah. There we go. I thought it'd be dark by now, eh? Mm. It'll get there, boys. Um, yeah. yeah. That's crazy, man. So, last last episode of Big Lens. An hour long. Hour long. Feature length. Feature length. And, oh, yeah, and there's screenings as well, so. Get on that, they're probably still on sale what, by the what's time. What's the... I'll put it, I'll just put it on the screen. Oh, now. cheers, mate. Um, There's... Fucking, where am I going? And I'm so shattered I'm not going to be there, because I'm going to yeah, South America yeah, in like uh, two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be in the country, man. Yeah. Uh, well, so you'll be able to see I'll be so there in spirit. Yeah. I'll it'll, support you, man. It'll come out like a week after the tour on YouTube anyway. So okay, sick. You'll nice. be able to see it. All nice and cosy wherever you are. And so yeah, man. But the power of storytelling, it's not just like, you know, oh, fictional cartoons or whatever. It's like the, the themes and the archetypes and the, the lessons that come with it. Yeah, fuck you yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's been a lot of lessons making big layers. Like, probably the biggest lesson I've learned is fucking patience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fuck. Yeah, all the fucking years. Yeah. Right. Yeah, can't. So, a lot, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of fucking. The, a lot of shit people don't know that fucking come with it and shit like that and yeah can't it's good to finally kind of it's it because to me big les like the whole storyline and and like everything i've been doing it kind of represents my teenagehood and mm. i've been trying to fucking get out of that because like i'm 24 now and like 
to wrap it up can means I can finally like kind of wrap up my teenagehood and just fucking and it feels yeah it's and like I was saying that finished that, yeah like that video that I said that I created that took me so long it's the thing it wasn't just making the video it was like oh I don't have to think about that yeah, anymore yeah, you I can know, move you can, on you yeah can just have all this extra space in your head like oh fuck that's like that what, creativity yeah you need yeah. to get because otherwise like if you don't get those ideas out it just bounces around your mind yeah. chamber it just you become a prison of your own device yes exactly yeah to hotel <sighs> California <laughs> but um yeah, yeah man Break, breaking out of those fucking shackles, like, and I'm not saying it was fucking bad. I'm like, it was a fucking awesome journey, and it still is, still on the journey. But it's just like, it's just a new beginning. It's a new yeah, beginning. New it's season, good to, new chapter. New chapter. That's it. Yeah, it's an ending of a chapter, and the start of another chapter in the great uh, book of life. Life, life. Uh, life itself, uh, life. as uh, old, uh, one of our friends would uh, say. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, there are uh, Tom. If he watches, if he watches this, fuck. Him. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Tomo's mate is fucking. He, he, we both yeah. fucking rip on him. Like, I, I, I did it. I did it on um the last podcast with you. Like fucking our yeah, mate. I won't reveal his name just in case. Like he didn't. He doesn't want respect. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah respect. But he uh, talks like this and um. Just some memories into this fucking process. Just always has that um. Uh, five seconds or three seconds of uh. Thinking. <laughs> <laughs> delay. That's delay. hilarious. Bit of a yes, uh, delay as you would um, call it there, Tom. Just a uh, very wise character, isn't he? He's just so fucking. Very wise. Um, <laughs> to look, mate, I'm I'm uh, I'm 41. <laughs> and, um, to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Always brings uh, up how old he is. Like that's I'm, I'm, I'm 41. Uh, <laughs> I've um. I've done it. Um, I've, I've, uh, I've been there, so to speak. Um, call him the seasoned veteran. The, the seasoned uh, veteran. Uh, the, the war horse. The war horse. Gives it the old test. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded so much like that lava. <laughs> Gives you that slight tap. Yeah. And look, fucking, I just look at these, these, um, <laughs> These young blokes, uh, especially you, uh, uh, Tom, I just go, you, you can't, and I don't mean that in a bad way, um, as you understand, uh, when I say can't, it's uh, more of a friendly gesture, um, so to speak. It's a typical, uh, typical uh, journey uh, you, you boys are uh, uh, on. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's not, it's not uh, easy uh, getting there. Um, <laughs> But you will. Oh, I believe that uh, you will. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'm going to meet this guy. Yeah. Anyways, we'll, yeah. it's a good good note to end it on, man. Well, congrats again. Cheers, man. Cheers, boys. Cheers, Tomo. Cheers, Tom. Sweet. Cheers. And, uh, peace out, counts. <laughs> Let's go see the, um, oh, see the, uh, the city skyline. That's right. Uh, well, that could yeah. be. Skyline.